Hey guys, today we'll be explaining the Playfair cipher. So the Playfair cipher was actually the first practical digraph substitution cipher invented in 1854 by Charles Wheatstone. The name Playfair came from Lord Playfair who actually endorsed the usage of the cipher. Cryptanalysis on the cipher is actually more difficult than simple substitution ciphers such as Caesar cipher and Wigner cipher, which uses monographs instead of digraphs. Monographs are actually single alphabets, while digraphs are pairs of alphabets. There is a method known as hill climbing that can be used to tackle the Playfair cipher in order to decode the cipher text. A random square of letters is introduced, and minor changes are made to this matrix and the resulting plain text is checked if it is similar to the standard plain text than in the previous iteration. If there is an improvement that is found, then this new matrix is adopted and it is further mutated until a final Playfair matrix is found. So the rules are when you're choosing the keyword and filling it in the table, there should be no duplicate letters. And in the table, since we're making a five by five matrix, and there are only 26 alphabets, so you should pair the letters I and J, or you should remove the letter J. You insert the keyword into the table, and you fill the rest of the table with the remaining alphabets in any pattern, either diagonally, vertically, or horizontally. For an example's sake, we'll be using Playfair as the keyword. So here we can see P, L, A, Y, F, and since A has already been written before, we omit that, go on to the next letter, which is I. In this example, we'll be combining I and J. Next comes R. And then we fill the rest of the table with the letters that have not been used. So let us consider cipher as the message to encrypt. The rules in preparing the message are that you should split the letters into pairs because this is a digraph. Um, substitution cipher and you add X between them if there are duplicate letters such as in the word keep there are two consecutive letters E so the keyword would now be K E X E P X so here since P is the letter that's left out with no pair you add X in the end Ignore any spaces, if there are any spaces, and then you encrypt this message. If it is in the same row, you shift right. If it is in the same column, you shift down. If it's neither in the same row nor in the same column, you create a box and then you swap to the ends of the box in the same row, which we will now see. So now it will be CI, PH, and ER. Let's consider CI. So C and I as we can see are in the same row. So you shift them one row down, which are now K and E. Next comes P and H, which are neither in the same row nor in the same column. So you create a box and then you swap to the ends of the uh, box that are in the same row. So that will be A and E. Next comes E and R, which are, again, not in the same row nor in the same column. You swap to the ends of the box, you get G and I or J. So in the case you get I or J, either you couple another pair of letters such as U and V, or you use the letter I and omit the letter J. So now we can see that cipher, the message we have chosen to encrypt is now K-E-A-E-G-I. You remove the spaces, you combine them, and voila, there's your encrypted message. The end. Thank you for listening.